In section two, we're gonna talk about the idea of memory, but like uh, before moving forward, we have to mention that memory is not that much developed in newborn uh, children. For example, uh, children from beginning, they cannot memorize all the stuff that is happening around them. So that's why we are saying that by age two, they are just, uh, if, if you would go back to Piaget's uh, theory, you can remember that uh, by age two, they can do problem solving. They can actually see the problem, uh, relate the problem with the previous experiences and try to resolve the problem in front of them. All of the information needs to go to the memory, first of all. This is the whole idea of memory, okay? By information, I meant like sound, sight, smell, touch, taste, even more. Um, all of this stuff needs to go to sensory memory. Then based on the attention part, some of them will go to short-term memory. And based on the rehearsal procedure, only a few of them will go to long-term memory. Then uh, you can just retrieve some of those information from your long-term memory uh, to your short-term, and you can just use them for answering different problems. Okay, let's say now you're listening to me. You are hearing my voice, and you're looking at the slide. You cannot see me because I actually turned off my camera, but uh, probably you would have your cat around um, yourself. You are touching your cat or you're touching a paper, maybe your mom is just cooking so you can smell the dinner now for lunch. Um, so a lot happening around you. And all of this information gonna go to your sensory memory. But since you are just trying to uh, understand this lecture to answer your quiz question, you are only paying attention to my sound, my voice actually, and uh, this is slide. So, these two elements will go to your long-term memory as well, based on rehearsal procedure. In your test, like your uh, next test gonna be test three, you actually retrieve some of those information, like my sound and uh, this lecture slide, right in front of you, or maybe your notes, so you can rehearse yourself and you can use all the information from your long-term memory to answer your exam question. Here is a video that can help you a lot to just understand what I said so far. Uh, watch that, it's good. Um, I do have some questions for you. Uh, I want you to actually read the textbook and try to answer them.